Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i squared is less than 2. Now to prove this theorem, we are actually going to prove for all positive integers n, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n. If we can prove that, then that proves that this must be true. And we're going to show that this is true using induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we want to show that the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over 1. Well, let's start by writing the left-hand side. Well, since the lower and upper bound of the sum are the same, we know that this is just going to be equal to 1 over 1 squared, which is just equal to 1, and this is equal to 2 minus 1 over 1. So we have shown that the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 1 over i squared is equal to 2 minus 1 over 1. And therefore, the sum from i equals 1 to 1 of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over 1. So we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. So really, we want to show that the sum from i equals 1 to n plus 1 of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n plus 1. Well, let me start by writing the left-hand side. What we're going to do is we're going to pull away the n plus 1th term from the sum so that this is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i squared plus 1 over n plus 1 squared. And by the induction hypothesis, we know that this is true. So really, this guy is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n. So this entire thing must be less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 over n plus 1 squared. And you know what? I'm just going to flip these two guys around. And now, we're going to combine these two guys into a single fraction. To do that, I'm going to take this fraction and multiply both the numerator and denominator by n, and I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator of this fraction by n plus 1 squared. So now that we have the same denominator, we can combine these two guys into a single fraction. And now, if we expand out what we have here, well, this is just the same thing as n squared plus 2n plus 1. And then, let's just distribute the minus sign across. And then, n minus 2n gives us minus n. And now, let's just factor out a minus sign in the numerator. Really, this minus sign can just be pulled out to the front of the fraction. But now, it turns out that this guy must be less than 2 minus n squared plus n over n times n plus 1 squared. So really, we can just get rid of the plus 1. The reason why is because, well, we know that n squared plus n plus 1 is greater than n squared plus n. And then we can take both of these guys and divide it by n times n plus 1 squared. And then we just multiply both sides by negative 1, and that will flip the sign of the inequality. And as you can imagine, if we add 2 on both sides of this inequality, we will obtain that this guy is less than 2 minus n squared plus n over n times n plus 1 squared. 
And now, in the numerator, we can factor out an n. We see that these n's will cancel out, and the n plus 1's will cancel out, and that will leave us with 1 over n plus 1. And so, we have shown that the sum from i equals 1 to n plus 1 of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n plus 1. In other words, we have shown that this is true, where instead of n, we have n plus 1. So, this completes the induction step. And because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So, we have proven that this statement is true. So, we've proven for all positive integers n, the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 over i squared is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n. And this proves that the theorem must be true. The reason why is because if we were to give ourselves any positive integer n, well, we know that this guy is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over n, and 2 minus 1 over n is less than 2. Therefore, this guy must be less than 2. So, we've proven the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.